Okay, so I just read about this operating system called Zeneva, and it's built from the ground up. That in itself is pretty wild. Wait, it's designed for both x86-64 and ARM-64? That's really interesting because that opens it up to so many devices. Exactly. And the kernel is named Aurora with a hybrid design. I mean, how cool is that? Hybrid kernel sounds like the best of both worlds. Right? It's like they took what works from both monolithic and microkernel systems. So what does that actually mean for performance? Well, with a hybrid kernel, we could see improved performance in multitasking and possibly better resource management. That's super fascinating. Also, they're welcoming contributions. I love that open source vibe. It feels like a massive collaborative effort. Totally. They're encouraging developers to get involved in kernel development, driver development, basically everything. Oh, wow. And they even have a graphics library called Chitraleka. Sounds fancy. What's that all about? It's their custom graphics solution. Think about it. Having your own library means you can optimize it specifically for your OS. Now that's a huge advantage. And a compositing window manager named Diodhai? It just sounds cool. What does it offer? Diodhai handles window management with real-time graphics processing, which is just a step up from traditional systems. No way. So it could potentially make multitasking more visually appealing, like smoother transitions? Exactly. And they've implemented features like SSE, SSE3 for improved performance on those x64 systems. I'm trying to picture this. It's like having the latest tech right in your pocket. What about the audio capabilities? They have an audio server called Diodai Audio that supports formats like 44 kilohertz at 16-bit. That's high-quality stuff. And how about hardware compatibility? You mentioned USB 3 and NVMe support. Yep. It supports various storage types, which is crucial for modern devices. Think about all the fast storage options today. That's insane. And the terminal has ANSI support, too. Seems like they covered all the bases. Right? Plus, they've got an audio player and even a file browser built in. This feels like a complete package. I know. And with the Zeneva terminal, anyone familiar with command line interfaces can jump right in. Exactly. It's so user-friendly, yet they've packed in some advanced features, too. It caters to both novice and experienced users. And speaking of user experience, do you think the desktop environment in Amdafa could be a game changer? For sure. If it's designed thoughtfully, it can really enhance productivity. That's always a big deal for users. Whoa. So if they nail the UX and UI, we could see more people picking up Zeneva, right? Exactly. And it could also inspire other developers to create unique flavors of OS, too. I never thought about the ripple effect it could create in the open source community. That's brilliant. Right? It's like planting a seed that could grow into something even bigger. This is really blowing my mind. I almost want to jump in and start contributing myself. You totally should. The documentation is there for help, and they welcome coding, bug reports, everything. I wonder how many contributors they have already. If it's growing, that's a positive sign for the project. Wait, let me see. Oh, they're already fostering discussions around features and bugs, too. That's a good sign. Wow. Being this engaged will definitely help shape the project. It creates a sense of ownership. Right. And imagine what happens when more eyes analyze the system. Better stability and features over time. So, the potential for growth is massive. They could end up being a contender among existing OS platforms. Absolutely. But wait, what about the challenges? Open source projects can be slow to evolve sometimes. Very true. Balancing contribution quality and speed of implementation would be tough. Still, if they maintain a solid community, they could navigate through those challenges, right? Definitely. It's the community support that often makes or breaks these projects. So if Zeneva can tap into a committed community, the sky's the limit. And it makes you wonder, what could the future look like in a few years? I'm so curious. I know, right? It leaves us pondering what other innovations might emerge from this experience. So cool. We're witnessing the evolution of tech at another level. And the best part, we can be a part of it, get involved, and see where it goes.